Many years ago, American inventor and industrialist Henry Ford said, the only thing worse than training your employees and having them leave is not training them and having them stay. That's pretty good advice from a guy that literally revolutionized the American automobile industry. Do you think that statement should make you ask yourself, how can I improve my approach to educating and retaining my staff? Good question. Well, how do you answer it? Recently, a massive study of more than 22,000 employees by the Global Talent Monitor showed 27% of these employees were actively looking for a job, and only one in three said they intended to stay with their current employer. And that's in spite of the fact that U.S. companies spent more than $90 billion on training and developing of their employees during that same time period, nearly a third more than they had spent the previous year. Sounds like a bit of a disconnect, if you ask me. Uh, why the disconnect? Uh, could it be because companies sometimes view their employees as more of a cost to be justified than an asset to be invested in? So, what do we do about it? How do we improve our approach to education and retention of our staff? Have you considered whether you should be pulling them or pushing them? Do you depend more on adhesion or cohesion, or should it be both? <laughs> um, are you interested in attention, adjustment, or accomplishment? Is your focus on teaching, coaching, or mentoring? Find out how each of these three approaches can help you get to where you want to be from where you are right now. In this session, I will compare and contrast them by showing you the emphasis, the focus, the goal, the approach, the summary, and the relationship. Learn how to tell whether you have a method behind the madness or if it's more like a madness behind the method. I'm Joe Perez, and I'll bring it to life.